What's up, fam? Welcome back to our channel. We are on our way to a special location. But it's not even about the location, really. It's about the people. It's Deep about bro. the people. I'm very excited about this one, and I'm hoping you as well. Of course I am. Of course she is. <laughs> we're gonna tell you, we're gonna show you once, once we are there. I'm sure they know from the title of this video. That's correct. <laughs> Super excited. Super excited. We saw them six months ago. Yeah. Yeah, we're, before we got married. They were the last people we saw before we left on our big adventure. Yeah, so let's see how they feel about us now. Let's see how they feel about us now. Maybe they don't like us anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, let's meet you when we get there. I guess it's so cute. Hi. Are you having a good day? Yes, apart from my cramps. Oh, guys. We haven't taped much because Maria's in pain. So uh, it's that time we run, you know, and she gets really bad. I'm sure you guys know already. Yeah, you know already, and I'm just sitting so here because that I am so <laughs> I'm too much in pain to walk. Yeah. So we're just sitting. We just had lunch. It was really nice. We just had lunch. It was really good. Yeah. And we just came here to sit on these steps so that her pains can pass, and then we might do some exploring if she feels better. If not tomorrow. Okay. If not tomorrow. I am fam. Happy Easter. Unfortunately, I'm at the hospital right now. Just waiting to get some uh, checks done to see if I have appendix or something else. Because I don't know, I've been in a lot of pain since yesterday, spending with my parents. And yeah, last night wasn't a great night. And this morning I felt so, so bad that we had to call the ambulance. Unfortunately, I can't be with me because of COVID sucks so much i miss her so much my parents are actually waiting on me outside the hospital and alexa is in this small town where we have been staying for the past week and she can't come at the moment but i'm messaging her the whole day so far and i hope i don't have to wait a long time for this I'll update you when i get something else checked update guys they brought me upstairs because i'm gonna sleep here tonight and hopefully just tomorrow night as well and that's it we'll see and they just brought me dinner i got some mash and some sort of soup i guess and i finally got water because i've been so thirsty so so thirsty i'm gonna be eating this and rest in hope that tomorrow i'm gonna feel way 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 better and they're gonna let me out i don't know We'll see. Have a nice dinner, Maria. It is currently six o'clock. They just woke me up to take some blood out of me and put some other um, antibiotics on me. So I have um, on my right arm two and all with two liquid going in. And on the other arm, they just took blood out of it. I don't know how much I slept, to be honest with you guys. I kept going on and off, and I took the time one time, and it was one o'clock, like half past one or something. I'm just gonna wait for the test result and see what the doctor say. I'm really hoping I'm gonna be good because I don't feel pain. I'm okay, so let's see. <laughs> I've got good news. They're probably gonna let me out today without surgery. Hey. I cannot wait to leave. I am exhausted, honestly. I feel like this thing is supposed to give you energy. It's, it's doing the opposite. But anyway, the doctors here are really nice. And I'm going to keep taking antibiotics um, by mouth and eat very light. Tonight, tomorrow, I don't know how long, but I'm going to keep doing that until this thing is healed completely. And... Yeah, I'm like so excited to see Alexa. I miss her so much. Honestly, so much. It's the only thing that is keeping me going right now. I mean, obviously I'm not in pain much anymore. So... <sighs> I can't wait to see her. She's currently on her way to Siena. Uh, she's gonna be my parents for a second to say goodbye. And yeah. I'll wait to hear back in a few hours to see if they're actually gonna let me go, but most likely. 
I'm happy. Okay, I'm having my lunch because they told me I'm dismissed. Alexa's running away. Off with a letter in, but I'm sure they will. I look exhausted, which I am. And I'm very happy. I can't wait. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you when I see her. <laughs> I can hear a bell. I'm sorry it took so long. <laughs> I don't wanna cry. <laughs> Baby. I stink. I don't care. Okay. I, I so much. don't ever wanna see you in a hospital. You promised me. <laughs> you said nothing would ever happen to you. And here I am visiting you in a hospital. <laughs> Guys, she told me nothing would ever happen to her. Oops. I have this worry. I have this fear that something is gonna happen to her. Irrational fear. All my life, right? And I'm always like, babe, I don't ever wanna have to like visit you in the hospital. Hey, you are. That was an ordeal. You have, you have no idea, guys, what it took to get to the hospital. Should have been really easy. I got my wife back. <laughs> Being discharged, about to leave. Yes. I'm and ready. I'm just ready to get my baby out of here. Let's go. I'm never, never go have her in here again. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys, so I just want to say I'm sorry if the quality of this video is terrible, but I am vlogging everything on our phones. I just can't be asked to get our camera out. Too much to do, too much else to worry about. No, yeah. <laughs> so we got back to the hotel, Maria showered, she washed her hair, we blow dried it, brushed it, and she's now comfy in bed. Yeah. Gonna watch some Netflix. And rest. And sleep. rest. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. That's what the doctors prescribe. That's right. Prescribe. 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 <laughs> Not to subscribe to Don't channel. forget to subscribe to our channel, guys. On that note, <laughs> leave a thumbs up and lots of nice comments from Maria down below, obviously. Obviously. Um, I just want to say for all of you that already done it on Instagram because we posted on our story, obviously. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I really much appreciate it. And why do I look so skinny right now? Oh, that's a good thing. We're legit making a joke saying that this is actually kind of cool because now she had to... She basically couldn't eat anything in the hospital, really, so it's just like a fast way to lose weight. Very <laughs> much. <laughs> Which we've wanted to do. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. She's okay, and everything will be okay, and thank you so much for all your support. We love, love you. you. The moment has arrived. My parents got my beautiful wife this chocolate egg, which I won't have any. It's my first Italian Easter egg. So you guys have probably seen from our videos that they wrap the eggs like this, which is so bizarre to me. Yeah. Because it's so much wasted paper. Paper. And oh. they and the and the groceries are just like shelves lined with them. Yeah. It's crazy. Tons, tons of them. Um. Okay. I'm excited. Right. Okay. Show me. Oh my. Oh my God! It's here already. I thought there would be like some other layer nope. to unwrap. That's it. Straight to it. So put it straight up. Oh. oh Look my at that. gigantic. Can yeah, I it's it? huge. No, you need to do this. Boom. No. That's how you break it, Papa. Oh, that's so pretty. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen anyone lick it, but I love that. Guys, it smells incredible. I feel like I'm getting <laughs> spilled in your face. <laughs> Take a picture of me. Yes. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm ready. Ready, set, like this, right? Yeah. Ready, set. Woohoo! You done it. Oh. Yeah, and then you know. If you're on the table, it's easier, obviously, or you're on the bed. But yeah, that's the concept of it. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. How is it? Good? Mm -hmm. oh, actually, I'm not tempted just because I'm in still a little bit of pain. So, um, I mean, it smells incredible. I would love to eat the whole thing, but I'm not gonna even like 
try and get it because I wish I didn't open it. <laughs> you can still close it back. It's easy to close. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. it's just broken. Okay, good morning, guys. I just wanted to say something. I'm getting Maria's pills ready. And this is the tiniest pill I've ever seen and the largest pill I've ever seen. The unfortunate part is she only has to take the tiny one once a day <laughs> and the large one three times. And the small one is preventing the big one to give me diarrhea. Diarrhea. So the big one is really the one that, that matters. This is very tiny. What the hell? <laughs> this is the smallest thing I've ever seen. Let's do it. The easiest pill I've ever taken in my entire life. This is huge. It's I know. Bigger than my face. Shall I take this off? No, let's do it. Okay. okay. You can do it. You have a large throat. This is big. Ready? Ready, my love. Oh my god! Smack it down! That's my. That's my um my perfect wife. I'm just good at everything. Okay, now let's go for breakfast. Okay, what I wanna eat. She has to take that pill 30 minutes before we eat. Yeah. So, so as soon as we wake up. Yeah, and then o'clock we can eat. Let's go see what you're gonna eat. That's what the breakfast is looking like. Absolutely plain. So we are back in the hotel room. Baby is putting on her pants, so I won't show you her. But basically we're just gonna chill relax today do some work i look like an absolute mess i know but yeah we're just gonna do some work from bed this is our little balcony here i don't even know how the balcony looks like i haven't been there at all i've just been here yeah she's literally just and been the there do you want to see it okay come on come check this dun, 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 dun. it's cool outside actually what the fudge i know nice. Yeah, it is. We can come out here when it gets more warm. Got some air. Fresh air is good for you. Anyway, this is our balcony. This is our room. It's kind of messy. I'm sorry, guys, but my love. I'm not in much pain. It's just uh, uh, I'm traumatized. She's traumatized, uh, yeah. Because obviously. I was in a lot of pain yesterday morning when everything happened. No, the day before that. And yeah, so I'm traumatized. Yeah, she's scared that she will have to go through that pain again. Yeah. Or, or something surgery. or something happens. Yeah. Because obviously her appendix is not healed. Mm -mm. So we still have to check, you know. We still have to see how it goes. She has these pills to take every day for the next five, six days. I need to eat really, really light. She needs to eat really light for the next 10 days and then we'll see how it goes. But obviously, surgery is not completely off the table, even though I think there's a very, very, very small chance That's anything 10%. will happen. 10%. Which is nothing. You're not going to be that 10%, okay, baby? Yeah. You got this. Got Smack it. it down. I think I scared you so much that morning. <laughs> Guys, I was like I was like in shock. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. And how to help her because she was in so much pain and there was nothing that we really had to help her. The pills wasn't working. Yeah. So it's not like I could offer her pills. So she was on the floor in the bathroom. She had called her parents. Your parents told you to call the ambulance, well, even though we had thought about it already, calling the ambulance. Yeah, it's good they told me which number it was, because I had no idea. But yeah, they told her which number, and then she called the ambulance on the phone, on the floor. While she was talking to the people in the ambulance, you can hear that you were in pain, because you were like... <gasps> yeah. Like this, like you were breathing really heavily, and you were talking in pain. So they, they probably realized from that as well that it's serious. Mm -hmm. So maybe about 20 minutes later, the ambulance arrived. We were at the Airbnb, we told the lady of the airbnb that the obviously ambulance was gonna arrive and people would come into the home we didn't want to scare her obviously no, and she helped open the door for them and stuff yeah and uh at the, there was four men four men <laughs> four men that came in and uh, straight, straight away i just said what i was having because already the thought of appendicitis was already crossing my mind and i told them as well yeah told them all the possibilities that it could have been and they said okay let's go 
at that point, I didn't know that she could not have come to the ambulance. No, no, no. So we're there. I'm walking out. I'm getting ready to have my first ambulance ride, be oh. with my baby. You know what I mean? And as soon as I walk out the door to follow her, they're like, no, 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 you can't come. I was like, what? Yeah. So, I mean, it makes sense. I don't know why we didn't think about it. It's COVID, COVID times. Time. So obviously, I couldn't go. But we barely even, we didn't kiss, we didn't do anything. I was just like, bye, baby, I love you. Yeah, <laughs> you, you just said bye, and I was like, I love you. <laughs> well, I was dying. You were, you were dying, you were dying, of course. And we didn't know, like, <sighs> but anyway, it didn't turn out to be so long. We thought it was going to be, like, three or four days we'd be apart. Yeah, but, no. but it was, it only ended up being one night, thankfully. If the bad levels are I compared to the normal ones that means something is wrong something is inflammated and because i have pain there it would have been appendicitis it would have been appendicitis yeah uh so the salts came back and stuff the um free surgeon came and visited me and told me that the possibility of having a surgery was on the table uh, but they would start with the antibiotics, which I had just found out from my parents that it's a new thing that they do, that they give you this medicine and that it's possible that it's going to cure the inflammation, which in the past it wasn't a thing, it's a new thing. So we had all our suitcases, obviously we have two suitcases and two backpacks and usually some extra bags because yeah, everything is so full. So we had to get a hotel near her... Uh, hospital yeah and a taxi there because I couldn't carry these suitcases on my own obviously mm -hmm. because there's so many and my phone wasn't working like my sim card hasn't started working since we got back from Thailand I need to get a new sim card probably because we called EE and they had tried to help us and told us it should start back working but it never did so I'm thinking I'm just gonna have to get a whole new sim card so I have no Wi-Fi and I have all these suitcases to carry so I got a taxi made it here, met her parents, said goodbye to her parents, which is so cute because I love them so much and they're so cute. We hugged like four times. Anyway, so I met her parents, said goodbye to her parents, and then immediately after, I wasn't allowed to check in yet because I had got there at around 11.30 and check-in was like 1.30. So I came, I left my bag and I came to Maria. So first I walked to the hospital, that was like two minutes walk, I got there and they told me I need to know what ward she is in, not just room, because before I left you told me you're room 9. I thought that's all I was going to need to get in. Yeah, so. so they sent me back to the hotel because I needed to know what ward she was in. I get back to the hotel, she tells me. So then I walk back to the hospital, I get back to the hospital, I tell them what ward. Um, it wasn't even i couldn't even get into the hospital it was like a gate outside the hospital where they were checking everything mm -hmm. so he tells me the word and then he's like okay green pass please i'm like oh my god no maria has our both we don't have a green pass we have a recovery certificate because remember we got covid in bali so i'm like oh my god maria has that so i'm like fuck i have to go back again and get wi-fi and get her to get it so i'm only for her i'm like oh my god babe i can't get in again i need a green pass so she tries to send me the green pass but we're thinking that it's not going through because I don't have Wi-Fi, but eventually I do get the picture of the green pass. I give him the green pass, and he's like, "Okay, this is where you go." Blah blah blah. Anyway, so I made it to her. That was that was almost something. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and then we got reunited, you guys saw that. We got you reunited, and then we taped from there. And never again. Ever again. Never again. I'm gonna eat a little bit healthier, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry you had to go through that. You're so strong, and I'm so proud of you. Thank you. And I just love you. Thank you for being so supportive. Okay, as always guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Remember to take care of yourselves because you don't know when anything can happen. And today's shout out goes to Everyone. my baby and all of you. Aww. But most importantly, my baby because she's so strong and I don't know what I would do without her. So, guys, yeah, just, you know, tell people you love that you love them. We love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.